And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Starlit Heimerdinger. Just going to be playing a couple of decks today. I've uh, got a couple of donation decks to, to play. Um, that, that's the plan for today. And then plus if, uh, if there's going to be some card changes with patch 1.8 coming out tomorrow, we will go over those and, um, you know, maybe if they, if we know the rest of the cards from the Call of Mountain set, we'll preview those as well. So we may make a couple of videos with those, you know, depending on what we know, but right now we, uh, haven't quite seen what that's going to be yet. Anyway, um, this is going to be some Starlet Heimerdinger, uh, this, this uh, deck is definitely built around Heimerdinger. So we got our, our Heimerdinger with a bunch of spells. We have a lot of four mana spells here. We have Suit Up that can help protect Heimerdinger. Same with Fury of the North. And then our removal of Gotcha, Static Shock. Also Flash of Brilliance. So we'll hopefully be making a bunch of four mana turrets. That's the 4-1 Overwhelm. That's a pretty good at turrets to get some damage in. And then we also have just like some solid uh, cards besides that with Averroes and Trapper, Kindly Tavern Keeper, uh, Starlet Seer, which y'all know I love Starlet Seer, Ice Veil Archer, Averroes and Sentry, Omen Hawk. So you have some pretty good two and three mana cards just to have some good interaction um, and get some uh, get some stuff out there so we're not too far behind whenever we do play Heimerdinger. Um, and then, yeah, we're playing for all your to get Entreat. So Entreat can draw Heimerdinger. And Entreat's going to be nice because even if we have a Heimerdinger in play, we can Entreat for another one and use that for Progress Day. Um, to be able to refill our hand in the longer games. All right, so let's play some Starlet Heimerdinger. Let's see how this deck does. Just playing over in normal today. The rank queue is resetting. And so we're just going to be playing over here. See, so yeah, at top of the hour, I think, is whenever we'll get notice because I think there's going to be some stuff that will change with patch 1.8. Patch 1.8 is what's coming out tomorrow. Um, hmm. Certainly hyped about it. I guess I keep gotcha. I actually just keep all of these. So I'm keeping Gotcha to kill Heimerdinger, I'm keeping the Static Shocks to be able to kill the Heimerdinger turrets, or just cycle and just draw another card. You know, basically using it as um, four mana draw a card for a little bit later. Could be that I'm just keeping, you know, like that I should be getting rid of the Static Shocks. But I, I like keeping the Gotcha for Heimerdinger. Okay, nice Ar Ice Veil Archer. Here they can block the Vanguard Sergeant. Hey, Super Z. have expected that um talk leora that is that's surprising to hear i would recommend you know if you're having that tough of a time i'd really recommend playing against the ai a bunch yeah and just and and practice um you know that's you get you still get xp for playing against the ai and it's better to be playing against the ai and winning some games than just uh, playing in one of the other queues and and really struggling and not and not winning games. What's up, Luna? Um. But no, I, I would not say that I would expect. Not and ready. 
um, people coming, like new players coming into the game to struggle a ton. I, I hadn't heard that before. Answers, I have them. Ooh. That's really good of them being able to um, fit in a Heimerdinger here. Leonis is, is on me to do something. I'm just gonna play both gotchas. So if I try one and they have protection, I can play the other. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. But it is nice making some some buff Heimerdinger, so you know it's not as easy to kill a three five. The sun is shining. We should too. I want them to cast. Yeah, I was gonna say I want them to cast Fort Demacia. Cause can I? Cause I can play all this, right? Oh no no no! Am I am I short? Four eight ten. No, I need. Oh, I'm short. I'm short one mana. So I can kill one of the champions, but not both. I think that means I need to kill Lux. Short one mana. And we're going to Brittle Steel. Um... Things gonna turn into five. That one's gonna turn into four. Oh, maybe I should have played the Flash of Brilliance first. Okay, so yeah, just a, a Celestial Dragon deck. Nice, Phil. All right. Will do. Yeah, um... All right, Talk Player, what, what, um, what deck were you playing, I guess? Like, yeah, maybe you were just playing a, a deck that just didn't fit your play style or a deck that was really difficult to play or anything like that. Maybe. So that's 11 out of 12 for Heimerdinger level up. Bunch of four one overwhelms. It's good to play that level up the Heimerdinger first before playing other stuff before you get more turrets. Okay, yeah, you were playing mid-range frostbite? Okay. Okay, yeah, so you're just playing it into... Yeah, this... 
I mean, it's just like any card game. It's, it takes time to get used to all the, the counterplay and all the stuff that your opponents are doing and things like that. It's just, you know, I guess that's like any card game. Um... You know, it is. I would recommend... Also, if... Um, you may be... This could be something like... Maybe, like, if, you know, new player, maybe you're trying, like, normal and not ranked. And maybe, maybe you're struggling a lot in normal. Maybe go over to ranked. Because if you're a new player in ranked you're going to be playing against other new players or at least other players with new accounts for the most for the most part that's newer players um, so maybe that's something to do also maybe if, if you're just playing normals because you're scared of ranked it's actually maybe better to play ranked We get the cruelty hex. Ooh, unnerved flash of brilliance. Discipline and steel. They still have ten cards in hand. They're just not. They're not getting any cards out of their hand. Yeah, that is not the card to kill. I'm is the card to kill. Calculated. Yeah, because normal, like we're playing, like we're playing in normal right now. Normal is filled with better players than the bottom of ranked. Alright, Omen Hawk and Treat Shared Spoils gotcha. This hand looks pretty good. So we're gonna keep it. Another Omen Hawk, that's good. We're definitely hoping that this Omen Hawk, that they have nothing to play on turn one. We're really hoping they just pass. Yeah. And also pass again. Don't have a parlay, have nothing. Okay, good. Then we get to... Am I suiting this thing up to be a 4-4? Four -four? Because that's like one of the, like if I don't play the shared spoils now, there's it's gonna be difficult to play that shared spoils later. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. You can see the Devastian border from here. So what is this? So this is okay. So this is like Gangplank Burn. Gotcha. Hey, Togrek. I think I'm gonna just pass, not play anything yet. Fortune favors the bold. See what they have. See if they have like a misfortune that we need to gotcha. No. All right, well, that's bad news. That is bad news. No, I'll be surprised if they have calling strike. I, I'm not expecting calling strike.
The next turn I can have Heimerdinger with four extra mana if I don't play anything else. Those are easy blocks. I'm not sure about the suit up card in here. Like this card does it this card just seems worse than Elixir of Iron. I guess. You'll make a four mana unit. I think a lot of the time it could be worse than Elixir of Iron. <sighs> um, I don't think they're going to have anything that's going to do five damage with four mana. So I think I'm safe to play something to make another turret to block with. War Mesa, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Well, I mean, right now, I don't know. Noctrin fervors decimates. Looking for trouble? It found you. They can get a lot of damage in. Huh. They should 100% be challenging something. Look out for Reavers. Interesting solution. Nope, not you. I'm at you. Anticipated outcome. This is me going to 10. It's fine. I'll go to 10. Yeah, they probably have some kind of trick, right? And so if I, I only have mana for one trick myself. And obviously I'd like to keep Heimerdinger alive Don't if possible. Alright, GG's. We 2-0. Good morning, Cabo. We're 2 and 0. Oh. So yeah, we got more people in here. So my plan for today, I have two donation decks I'm going to play. And then I'm basically kind of having like a, a short day with, you know, us waiting for the new set for tomorrow. All excited about that. But I think... At the top of the hour here, which is you know about to happen, I think we'll have information about patch one eight notes with maybe some. Um, I want this ice. I don't think I want this ice veil archer. Patch one eight notes with maybe some nerfs or some some card changes, and if so, we'll do a, a reaction video to that if that's the case. And if also if we figure out if they tell us what the rest of the cards are in this Call of the Mountain expansion that we hadn't known yet from yesterday that I still don't think we know yet. If we figure out what the rest of those cards are, then we will do another video also with the rest of those. Um, the cards that I could see nerfed, probably the, the most... Um, I mean, this... I mean, maybe it's kind of just what I would do, but I would say, like, Riptide Rex... 
could change. It doesn't need to do seven of those those things. It could be like four or five and be perfectly fine. Um, maybe Trifarian Assessor doesn't draw as many cards. Um, I think Sedjuani should be a five five, um, not a five six. I probably should have played Trapper and not. Starless here. So I think maybe they like I would play Trapper. Maybe they play like Ezreal, then I have I'd have the Gotcha. Yeah, Trapper was a 2-3 at first. Trapper was a 2-3 and saw no play. Or didn't see, didn't see very much play, I think. But yeah, as a 3-2. I could see that. Um, I could see Petty Officer just going to a 2-2. Petty Officer at, you know, at 3 1 didn't see a lot of play, but 3 2 is really strong. Maybe Petty Officer 2 2. Um, I could see, as far as buffs go, I could see Lee Sin getting some kind of buff. Um, I would, I mean, I would personally go back to having 4 mana Will of Ionia and. Um, Sorry, I'd go back to having 4 mana Will of Ionia as well as Shadow Assassin back to where it was. I would I would go back and buff both of those again myself. I was expecting. This would be a good winter. So not only do we get to you know trade here, get four damage in, but then we also you know get the plus the three plus three plus threes. That's why I've been I've been kind of playing a little bit more removal spells and just playing some more spells of getting all these pluses as well with the Starless Seers. Yeah, I could definitely see four mana Coling Strike for sure. That would not be too surprising. I'm always up for a round or two. Something for all. Of you. The trap is set. Bob for good with the tier one sub. Y'all, we got a brand new tier one sub. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Bob. Let's definitely get some hype boats out there. And our second sub of the day. This would be a good so likely they're playing, like they want to go Riptide Rex next turn, that's what I'm guessing, because that's the best card they could possibly have. And this should hurt that plan. I'm not having a blocker now. So they have to get rid of the 7-4. 
I say it was difficult for them to stay alive, but I guess Harsh Winds does it. They stole my second Harsh Winds. There's two Harsh Winds in the deck. And they stole an Entreat. Um, which one of these do we heal? The 2 1 just goes into a 2 3, so we only heal 2. This one would also heal 2. This would go to a 4 5. This one is a 5 7, so we'd actually heal 3 back to 7 health. Um, we'll, we'll just do this one. Whoa! Bob for Good is also gifting out 5 subs. Y'all get some hype boats in the chat. Bonus stream time. Now I think that's I think we'll do that for tomorrow whenever we have the new set. So for tomorrow we'll have some bonus stream. Alright, well the next card that we have is gonna be Enraged Yeti, we know that. Thank you, Bob. So we're just going to go with, um, oh, I forgot to change the camera today. Man, all these pilfered goods. They played all three pilfered goods. So I got to change some camera settings so it doesn't lag too much. Forgot to do that. Gonna go with the attacks. <laughs> Love it. Everybody in chat's having, having a great time with the hype. <laughs> they can't have any more harsh winds, because I only have one I only have one extra one. Ouch. Wow. That's a killer. Yeah, they had a flash of brilliance that created the scrap shot. Wasn't a card they would just normally have. They don't know what they're up against. Don't blink or you miss me. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Mm, I was hoping the seven one would attack also. Want to make the two one turret. You'll fight or you'll swim. A sturdy construction. My best draw is another Heimerdinger. Omen Hawk is my worst draw. Yeah, the actual worst draw. I only had one other Omen Hawk in the deck, we had drawn the other two. Easy, Tiger. Ah! 
I should have just played my 5-5 five five before combat. I don't know why I didn't. I should have been that's like Riptide Rex didn't really hurt me. I shouldn't have been scared of Riptide Rex. Should have just played this 5-5 five five before combat. Uh, you're right, Grace, Grace Claw should have gone upstairs. You're right. Yep, you're right. Should have gone. Should have gone upstairs. dealt that two damage upstairs we drew the other burn spell the the petty officer made my play really bad of, of killing that thing them having the petty officer that really hurt uh for sure all right so age and iowa how many how many cards is that that's is, it, is that the the last of the cards that we don't know like how many total cards did i not preview yesterday that we will know today for that are coming out on the set I don't think I want any of these for this matchup. I think that's just the third game. I think that's just game number three. I don't think it's game number four. As far as I know. Toss a bunch of Kempunk pickpockets. Ah, this is discard deep. Nothing escapes my watch. The trap is set. The trap is set. With having Brittle Steel, I don't really want to just trade it right there. I want to block and Brittle Steel or, you know, attack in and have Brittle Steel. I'm always up for a round or two. One of the two. All that glitters. A true Fragorian welcome. I just let this happen now so that I can get Heimerdinger and play this turn. Oh, that's that's awesome. Bob says, I just started watching your YouTube stuff. You do a great job. Also, I'm getting married Friday, so I wanted to spread the good vibes. Congratulations, Bob. Getting married on Friday. That's wonderful news. That is awesome. Yeah, con congrats. We have Grace Claw, who's the newlywed in chat, and now we're gonna have another newlywed. Um. So I I spend a card to keep them from drawing a card. Right here. We'll do that. Um. Don't 
determine themselves. Yeah, skip block. Just when I needed assistance. Then I'm probably just playing the entreat this turn. Never mind, we're playing the mystic shot. Keep our Heimerdinger alive. I'll still just do this right now and uh, replace this little 1-1 one, one with a 2-1 tough. It's than a diagram. As far as attacking goes. Don't really need that little 1-1. One, one. We're only at 5 out of 12 as far as leveling up. Heimerdinger is concerned. That's two mana gotcha. Down to eight. The Swissed Fate is getting pretty close to leveling up. I don't have any removal right now because we've used a lot of our removal um, previously. Alright, so what are we getting rid of? We're getting rid of the 5 1 probably. Is the 2 1 tough more valuable than the 5 1? Maybe. I guess maybe we're getting rid of both because I'm probably going to have to static shock this Jaw Hunters. We're just going to play that. Was a fate. That could be rough. Could be rough. I think they'd have a one mana card that gets rid of two things, two attackers. So we'll only have nine mana next turn. Really wish I had ten for Harsh Winds and Fury of the North. Both. Um. Hmm. Do I keep playing more turrets out and keep playing stuff with them having Twisted Fate? I mean, I guess so. 
<laughs> that card came out of the blue. That is that is for sure. It it truly did. Soak it in. Card really did come out of the blue. I don't know, Battle Fury may not be that great against Twisted Fate because of the gold card. Yeah, they definitely play enough spells for yellow card. Yes, absolutely. So I have to go Fury of the North here so the yellow card will get rid of the T-Hex. And not my Heimerdinger. Okay, so this will kill Heimerdinger, but it does kill... <clears throat> it does kill Twisted Fate also. Maybe they don't have another Twisted Fate, even though they're down to three cards left in their deck. Probably not that realistic. The water rises. Getting rid of those Devour Adepts. Set the hooks. Forward, forward. I don't see any great plays right now. Three cards left. The problem is they'll have... Like, this Battle Fury is just not going to do anything ever. We can never do damage to them for the Shared Spoils either. 
This game's just over. What did you catch? Danger pay. I don't know why, like, what are y'all expecting Battle Fury to do against Riptide? There's no way they don't have another Nautilus in hand. There's no way, like, the last, both last two cars are both Nautilus. This thing's not going to do anything. I was hoping that I think I think it was a better chance that I pass priority and then they play some spell and go underneath Riptide or something like that. I think that, that was a better chance than that that all of these cards in hand. None of them were another Nautilus. Better chance that I pass priority and they got greedy spending mana on stuff. That game was won by that one mana jettison with the blue card. That's where that game was won. I thought we had a, I thought we were gonna win that and then they played that jettison and that completely changed that game. That was the backbreaking card. Yasuo Swain. Uh no, I have I have nothing to do with the frequency of points claiming on the channel. I've I have nothing to do with that. I like that. How many points you get? Is that what you mean? Like, I can't change how many points you get. I, I have nothing to do with that. These old eyes still see far. I think I think maybe you're talking about like bonus points that they were that they would just give out at times, and I, I don't know what the what the rate is of that. You should still just be earning points normally, I think. I don't I don't really know how that stuff works. In Avarosa's name. Somebody in chat maybe knows better. Big guys feel Archer. attack token. I was thinking it already passed back to my turn. Safeguard our homes. being super careful over there. Very patient. 
not sure what it's all about yet. All this patience. Hey, Nakano. So patient. <clears throat> What's the problem with playing Heimerdinger? Like Will of Ionia? Like they play Yasuo plus Will of Ionia? Intimidating roar. That's going to be even worse. If they play Yone. Um. Hmm. So I guess with the deny, I'd rather that have them deny the gotcha than the static shock. plan is deny. It may be better to just go Ice Veil Archer and Entreat. Ice Veil Archer on the 3-2. Just let this happen. No, let's go with the gotcha. Yeah, Twin Disciplines would, would stop either one. Twin Disciplines would stop this. Uh, if, if it's trans, yeah, transfusion. I guess Gotcha would still kill their thing. By snow and stars. If they have more Yasuos, that's definitely in trouble for us. Theirs would, theirs would be leveled up now, so they'd be five fives. That is good for us. That is very good for us. Repair the cargo. That is not good for us.
be a good winter. I would like them to attack with the Leviathan, with me having these Fury of the Norse. That's what I would like, so I'm trying to give them the opportunity to attack. Now we're just going to play these, have our two Fury of the Norths, and go in and attack. They gotta make the first move. So let's say they like stun one thing, I fury the north another, they stun that, I fury the north another. Put them down to one. And then we mystic shot them. To be in the next turn, and then they deny that, and then we mystic shot them again. And then we win. They stone one thing, we Fury the North another. And then they stun that. And then we Fury the North another. And we put him down to one. All right, GG's. Yes, rank is disabled. We're just playing it normal. All right, so there we go. Starlet, Heimerdinger, fin finish three and two. Both of our losses were super close. The first loss, I feel like I, I could have won that first one. Um, second one was, was pretty close, and I thought that we were going to be winning, but then that jettison ended up getting me. Ugh, that was a good jettison. So there you go. St uh, Heimerdinger, still not bad if you like uh, playing your Heimerdinger decks. This could be a way to um, play some Heimerdinger, get some Starlet Seer in here, grant your top, top ally of your deck plus one, plus one a bunch um, to pump them up. I'd say that the card that I liked the least was the suit-ups. I don't, I don't, I really don't think suit up's very good in this deck. I think that you'd just rather have Fury of the North. Like, Fury of the North, Gotcha, and Static Shock all looked good. I'd rather just have, like, another Fury of the North and then, and then just, like, an Elixir of Iron if you want, like, some, some extra protection. I think Elixir of Iron does a better job of protecting Heimerdinger than what suit up does. Um, and it only costs one mana. Now, of course, with it costing one mana, you don't get to get a good turret, but you can protect, you can protect your Heimerdinger for super cheap. So I kind of rec I would recommend those. You know, just get another Fury and then an Elixir of Iron over those. Um, second Thermo. You could play second Thermo. Um, not sure exactly what for. If you if you don't want to play the Elixir of Iron or you know if you want to take up if you want to not play one of those, you can play second Thermogenic Beam also. Nothing wrong with that. All right, but there we go. That's Starlet Heimerdinger. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the new set, whatever you want to see me play in the new set um, for this upcoming week. Leave those comments. Um, yeah, anything like that. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.